course. Yes, it's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. We were stranded at sea. For 50 days, and you unfortunately survived. What a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yes. Oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. What's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Hey! Oh. <sighs> Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown, what you talking about? <laughs> That's great, partner. <laughs> Lenny, Lenny, where are you? Lenny? Lenny! Lenny! Had a good time, did you? He's broken Daddy's heart. <laughs> Daddy has a heart. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Five thousand dollars for your head alone. Five thousand dollars? For me? Can I turn myself in? Ah, well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. It ain't winning them. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? We should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. How did someone even come up with them words? Get out of here! Yeah, yeah, Vamos. this is wahr. Vamos. Uh, I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. As long as you ride with us, <laughs> I got a serious medical condition. Yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Oh, look, Seth. You, sir, are a fish. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retelling of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. Hagging her inbred sons. I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. What? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Welcome home, Molly, to uh, my humble abode. How do you say? Old ass. Mm. Asshole. Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> there you are. Come on, keep walking. <laughs>
You're late. Well, days in this place, you turned into some clock-watching city boy. What's the urgency? That greasy son of a bitch! He set us up! You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. And we each got... Fifteen dollars. Oh. And a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. Oh, it's a toy boat. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> Hundreds of gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss. Uh, Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. No, no, we can't lose the boat. Arthur will go. I will? Strappy eight, King, Mr. Margaret. What's our doing? I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. She licked her chops and asked for seconds. Oh, you man. filthy little man! Oh! Oh! Come on, horse wheel, leave quickie! Oh, it's nothing. Uh, I thought I knew him. Please do not do that again. Put these on and hop in. Why well, is she coming? Ah, uh, did you break your neck? I don't think so. Uh, maybe. Arthur Taylor. Tell her what. She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See there, you heard him. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Milliken, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four. Oh, so... very funny. Now we must be at eleven by now. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Faster. Fourteen. Fifteen. Do something. You only eat him. Um. Uh. It, 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 easy there. Uh, easy there. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Neither did I. <laughs> But if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives, but they would have killed all of us.